So in this video, we'll talk about how to use jagged arrays with 3D. So before starting with that, let's try to understand some concept in arrays. So let's say you want, you, you, you know the values for this one dimensional array. So what we can simply do is, we just have, we don't have to uh, mention the number here. You can use a curly brackets after writing new int and then you specify the size which is 5, 6, 7 and 8. So that's your array. You can do the same thing for a two dimensional array. In fact, uh, for this, it's not compulsory to write new int. Even if you remove this, that's perfectly fine. But for the example, we are going for this type of syntax. So we have to say new int and then we can specify 5, 6, 7, 8. We can do the same thing for two dimensional array. So if you don't know this size, so let's say uh, I know the number of columns for sure or number of rows for sure is 2, but not sure of the column or maybe both. So we can simply define a two uh, uh, array here, and then we can specify the first element, or the first array, and the second array. The first array, let's say, it is two, three, four, five, and the second array, we'll keep it as five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this is two-dimensional array. Perfect. Uh, we can do this same thing for three D, but before that, let's try to initialize a value, which is let's say two. So for sure now you know the number of columns, but you don't know the number of rows. Okay. Let's not do this here. Okay, let's keep it there. Now let's initialize the three-dimensional array. So even if you change uh, the number of the number of the first row, which is so two, three, four, and the next array is five, six, seven, eight. So this is jagged array, right? So the number of columns are not fixed. So number of values in each array is not fixed. We can do the same thing with the uh, three-dimensional array. So let's say we have int c, which is three-dimensional. We'll say new int, and then we can give those three brackets, and then a curly bracket. So this will define your array. So this array will have two-dimensional arrays. So example, if I write new int here with a bracket, and new int here with a bracket so this is two different arrays right so this is array and array and this b becomes array of arrays simple in the same way we can define uh, two dimensional arrays here so we'll say this is two dimensional this is first two dimensional and inside this we have two more values so we can give we can i can just copy this laser to type Okay, that's my first array and then I can give a comma for the new value or two dimensional array, one more two dimensional array and then we can you, you can just copy the same number of values but just here two more values okay, with a comma. Okay, so now you can see we have this 3D array which consists of two two dimensional array okay and the first two dimensional array has two one dimensional array and the second two dimensional value or, or array has uh, four one dimensional array so this is itself this is a jagged array and this is a jagged array and this 3d is a uh, it's two it's at it's also a jagged array right with different number of elements so that's how you can implement uh, jagged arrays inside 3d I, I, and again how to print that so in the last video we have seen how to print three dimensional array you can use the same loop here and it will work cool so that's it from uh, 3d with jack so thanks for watching and do subscribe for further videos